Hello. Hello, Milo? This is Ed. Ed who? Listen, Polly put me in touch with you. What do you say? Ed, I'm in the hospital. Oh, there's just one catch. You gotta flash your tits. But just for a minute. Did you hear me? I'm in the hospital. I'm paralyzed. I'm gonna have to learn to walk again. Ed, did you hear me? Dr. Blair, Dr. Blair, Dr. Jake. Uh, you won't even have to walk. You just we'll lay you out in the casket and you sit up for the camera, flash it real quick, and you go home with the dough. Are you out of your mind? I haven't acted since the 60s. You know that. If you can call appearing in this porno thing of yours acting. Well, it isn't mine really, it's Steve's. Dr. J. Hamilton, Dr. J. Hamilton. But I was hoping it would be one more chance to make a picture with you. Wouldn't it be great? Be just like the good old days. Miss Garbo isn't working. I'm sure she could probably sit up better than I can. Myla, how can you just say no? How can you just say goodbye to it all? I understand what you mean. <laughs> From the wolves at the door, to those beasts on the casting couch, to the snakes in the executive suite who sacked me, to those leeches, the distributors who robbed you of your art. It's time to move on. Let go of it, Ed. Let go of it. Or it will kill you. My doctor's here. I gotta go. Good luck with your film. God bless. I had the chance to work in the studio system. Had a job there once. But it just wasn't for me. They make mediocre, watered-down pictures with as many writers as an alley cat has fleas. No, independent. That's the way for me. It's a bigger gamble, but what's life without some risk? I can't live in the middle of the road. I can't live without a dream. Can anyone? I'm a Poughkeepsie boy. But my heart always belonged to Hollywood. Always loved going to the movies since I was a kid. Buck Jones, Flash Gordon, Shandu, all the greats. If mom and dad didn't know where I was, they did know where I was. I was at the movies. Anything could happen up on that big screen. And it didn't take long for me to realize that that's what I wanted to do. To create that magic up there.
been a whole lot of water under the bridge since then, but I did it. Those were great times. Life was simpler then. That was when the gang was all still together. And I sure do miss those days. That prick Evans is threatening to evict us again. Rotten son of a bitch. The fellas are coming by tomorrow night after work for drinks. Eddie, we're flat broke. Now you're writing dirty books, making porn, and working as AD for a bunch of crooks. And by the way, who's coming by? Polly, Dudley, the boys! You better tell the boys to bring their own supplies. His mother Hubbard's cupboard is bare! Kathy! Lover! Don't lover me! Currently set at one million dollars, five hundred thousand for the murder of each of her two sons, stabbed to death back in June. I gave this industry my blood, sweat, and tears. I broke my back for my art, gave it everything I had, more than I had. Still, it wasn't enough. Never enough. <sighs> Look at me. I could be a millionaire. I should have a million bucks in the bank right now. To leave the concrete way behind and focus on the day. This is D. Dolores? funds. Steve's gone over budget on this film that we're doing and if we don't have the money by next week, we get shut down. We'll be out of a job. Back when we were together, you had a bad habit of shitting where you ate. If you'll pardon the expression. You've betrayed me, Ed, or have you forgotten Loretta? <laughs> I've watched you lie to investors, to actors, to your own family. I've seen you oversell percentages, bounce checks, leave people holding the bag, and the list goes on. And now you have the nerve to ask me for money? You gotta be cracked. Just don't you forget who gave you your first starring role in pictures.
panic in Central City today after a gun battle Pete, I don't know how to thank you, brother. For taking me and Kathy in. But I'm gonna get back on my feet. I'm gonna get back on my feet. And I'm gonna get another picture together. It's gonna be great. You won't regret knowing me then. Nobody regrets knowing you. I'm sorry, Pete. This is tired. Ed, why don't you go lay down for a little while? Lay down. <laughs> Never you! You wouldn't have confidence for ten men! 
Nothing could stop you. But we get older, everything's harder. So we slow down. You know that I too had hard times finding work. Even I, the great horror star, unemployed but for you, who had not forgotten me. There's something else. Kathy and I have been kicked out of our apartment. We've had to move in with a friend. It's so humiliating. Eddie, your hard work has not been for nothing. You see, from here I have a very far view indeed. Beyond what your eyes can see. I too look to the past. But I also see the future. The future? What kind of a future have I got? You would be very surprised, my friend. Very surprised indeed. Your work and sacrifice have not been wasted. You will be an inspiration to filmmakers the world over. They will look to you and say, if he can do it, I can do it. You're pulling my leg, Vela. Don't snow me. It all sounds pretty fantastic. You're starting to sound like Criswell. It is fantastic and true. But I'm not ready. I, there's still so much for me to do here. And I can't just leave Kathy. What will happen to her? Kathy will be fine! Just dandy. Come! Be with the threshold people. Here you can make all the films you want. Any way you want. Thor is here. Herbert too. Soon I will take you to the highest of the high peaks, and you can see for yourself what an influence you have been, or will be, or whatever. But Bail, I'm scared. I don't want to go. Don't hang on to the past, Eddie. Don't cling to that life. The movies were your birthright, your life. And I can assure you, you have left your mark. You are a true son of Hollywood. Now, there is more important work to be done. Mom, I hope to see you again soon. Dad, I've tried to make you proud. All my love, Junior.